Hey everybody, day 100 here and I can't believe I've made it to 100. Woohoo! Go me! So today is not only going to be a check-in, but I decided to do a special video for being day 100 and I'm going to do a cooking video on uh, one of my favourite dishes that I've uh, had a lot on this diet, um, which is chicken or beef stir fry. You can add what you want or take away what you want, but basically my point is just because you're on a diet doesn't mean that you need to eat bland, boring food. Because I hate bland, boring food, and I've come up with, uh, I've tried lots of different things, and I believe that this is pretty damn tasty for being healthy for you. So anyway, without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and let's start cooking. Welcome to Flix Kitchen, guys. Excuse my head and only seeing my body, but you get the gist. Right, so my ingredients are, I've got some mushrooms here. I've got about five button mushrooms. I've got just some, um, I normally use white onion, but I've got some red onion here um, that I've just sliced finely. You can dice it as well. Um, I've got one carrot. Uh, with my diet, um, I'm only allowed max one a day. Now, I would normally use capsicum, but I'm all out of capsicum, so uh, carrot it is, but that's fine. You can pretty much swap and change the vegetables to suit whatever you prefer. Um, and I've also got some broccoli um, here because I love broccoli and it's really good for you. Also got a uh, half a piece or less of chicken fillet um, that I removed the skin for. I was allowed to have more protein uh, with the meat, but being on this diet for almost three months now, uh, my stomach has shrunk. And I actually uh, can't really eat that much anyway, so that works out being the perfect serving for me. Then we've got some minced garlic, um, some soy some pepper, and some uh, extra virgin olive oil. Um, with the diet that I'm on, you need to uh, have a little bit of fat so you don't get gallstones and just things like that. So that's pretty much the ingredients. Um, I'm going to get through and uh, chop everything up, and then we'll return. Right, yo, guys. Everything's chopped up and falling off the board. Got my carrots, we've got my mushrooms, my onion, my broccoli, and my little bit of chicken. Again, as I said before, you can swap and change for whatever you uh, prefer. So the first step is we're going to put a little bit, a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan, and we're going to put the onion in and the garlic. So first of all, guys, get your wooden spoon or whatever you like to cook with, and put your pan onto high heat just to warm up the oil and everything. Rightio, once your pan has started to heat up, it's time to add your onions. They can be white or red, or if you don't like onions, eh, you don't have to add them. Um, so yeah, just give them a stir, uh, and wait for them to just, you know, kindly just start to just sizzle just a little bit. And then once that happens, uh, I want you to take a teaspoon of minced garlic or cloves or whatever you prefer, and just add that in. Now, I love garlic, so uh, I like to have, I sometimes I'll have a bit more because garlic's very good for you, um, but it all comes down to taste. So, if you're not really a garlic fan, feel free not to add it and substitute whatever you like. Like I said, this recipe is very, very diverse, very simple and easy to change, and it actually doesn't take that long to cook. So, you can just see the um, <clears throat> onions and the uh, garlic, you know, sizzling away. And uh, just just give that a little bit. They won't take long, just till they're a little bit transparent. Now, once uh, you've done all that and it's still sizzling away, I want you to grab your... Uh, you can do it in any order, really, but I like to do the mushrooms because mushrooms will reduce in size. Um, and it also uh, gives the mushrooms a chance to soak up some of that lovely aroma and flavour um, of the uh, onion and the garlic. So just stir them in and make sure they're all nice and coated until they just start to reduce down just a little bit. And I'll see you back in a minute for the next step. Right guys, so the next step is to grab your meat or your protein. Whatever you've got. I've just got some chicken here. Um, I'm going to throw these in with the mushrooms, the garlic and the onion. It smells fantastic here, if only there was smell of vision Okay, so now I, at this stage I like to add a little bit of cracked black pepper um, because it's really good with the mushrooms and the chicken and just all those lovely, lovely flavours. The pepper just helps bring it out and you know, it's just, uh, it's good. So, but then again, if you don't like pepper, feel free not to add pepper, like I've said before. You can pretty much do whatever you want. My grinder's not working properly, but yeah, you get the gist. There's still some pepper. You can pretty much do whatever you want with this, and um, it'll all work out good. So now, 
just uh, stir through the chicken and uh, get it all nice and coated in the garlic and everything. And I just, I don't want you to cook it all the way through. I would just like you to cook it just so, you know, there's white on both sides and so it's almost cooked. Just partially cook it. And uh, so once I get this done, I will come back and we will continue the next step. Alrighty, as you can see, the chicken is, uh, you know, turning white and pretty much all done. But it's not fully cooked, so don't go having a taste just yet because you might get sick. So the next step, um, I'm putting in my carrots because um, they're a harder vegetable, so it'll take just a little bit longer, but I've, uh, as you can maybe tell, I've, I've uh, sliced them quite thin, so they really won't take that long. Um, like I said, normally I would be putting capsicum in now, but I'm all out of capsicum, so, but feel free to use whatever you prefer. You just give them a quick toss around and just let them just slightly soften. Um, this is a pretty simple uh, dish that you can kind of just eyeball um, as you go. And it's one of my favourites. It's all done in one pan, so it's a lot of less mess to clean up. Alright, so my carrots are started to just slightly um, become transparent. Not too much, but that's good. That's what we want. Okay, now it's time to add in your broccoli or your snow peas or whatever you're going to add uh, for again. Now, I like my broccoli just slightly crunchy. Um, it keeps more of the nutrients in that way. Um, if you you know, blanch it or boil it and then your water turns green, um, you're actually losing a lot of the nutrients in that. So I like to keep my uh, broccoli just slightly crunchy. Um, so just cook that. Um, I generally like to leave the broccoli on top of the vegetables. Um, for this video, I'm just stirring it in. You can stir it in after, but I generally leave it on top of the rest of the, the food. And then I um, sometimes I put a lid on to uh, just steam it a bit because that can also help the process. Um, so yeah, just let that cook and what I do is I don't think you can, you might not be able to see, I'm not sure, but the broccoli is very white at the stem still. What I do is I wait till there's just a little bit of white left and then I know that they're perfect. So they're not too bitter, nothing like that, but they've still got all the nutrients that you need. So anyway, we'll return back once they're uh, roughly up to it. Another thing that you can do, you don't have to, is um, you can just put add a little bit of liquid. You can use stock or you can use water. I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of water just to help bring out the flavours and just to help to make it a little less gluggy. So literally just a little bit and you can see that and then just give it a stir. And uh, make sure you get all the lovely herbs and everything off the bottom and just mix it all through. Rightio, so now is the part where we can add the soy. Uh, now I haven't actually measured it. I'm going to say it's roughly about two tablespoons, but really you can add less, none or more. It's all up to you. I usually just go and that's it because um, you don't want it too strong because the, um, as you notice, I didn't add salt to this because the soy actually uh, is the salt substitute and has salt in it. So... That's just what I do with that. And then I would normally just pop the lid on and let it steam for maybe another minute or two. And then we're pretty much done. I must say, if you would like to add snow peas to this, I generally add them to the, at the last minute um, just to warm through. So they've still got that crunch and they've still got the vitamins and minerals and everything like that. But again, it's all personal choice. So we'll see you back for the uh, plating. And there you have it guys, a healthy, no carb, no sugar and very low fat chicken stir fry that you can add whatever you'd like or take away whatever you like. All done in one pan, so like no dishes, hardly any, and it's good for you and it tastes amazing. So hopefully this video didn't, uh, wasn't too bad, seeming as I've never done a cooking video before, but uh, this is just to celebrate my 100th day on this diet and I couldn't be prouder. And uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments below if you do try this recipe, if you need any help with it, or if you'd like any extra suggestions for things you might want to add. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Thank you again for supporting. You're all legends. Peace out, guys. Happy eating.